Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. As you can see from the top of the screen, there are 50 new messages since 2.36 a.m. on June 20th. I have not seen this for a whole entire week, so let's see what are some of the new stuff going on in the leaks. So for those of you new to the channel, I am using Chinchilla Leaks. Link in the description if you want to see all these leaks for yourself. But just so you know, everything we're about to go over, it is not official, it is not confirmed. It's always possible that SP can change something by the time it is actually released. We're going to skip over a lot of it since a lot of this pertains to the Season 1 of the New Era, which has actually been released already. So first we have is Lamuna's design. Great, great monster design. Let's give this a check mark. Beautiful looking monster. So much detail in the design. We have Raven Bot skill sets. Turned out to be very luckluster. I'm surprised it has as many likes as x's let's give that an x we have shao lion how does he have x's i like the monster a great looking monster raven bot looks really cool as well all right and look at this raven bot the free legends pass monster let's scroll no sorry not the free legends pass monster the pvp monster the free pvp monster we have dabanka great looking monster as well brigadier holter also a great looking monster so people are not a fan of shao lion why is that i will say Considering other monsters in the Galactic Era, he does not fit in. Like, he looks more like he'd be like a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, gosh, I can't think right now. Taurus, Cancer, Gemini... Astrology. One of those astrology monsters, if anything. But let us scroll down. The bunk of skill sets. New book. Zoomorphers. Elementals. Wielders. Alright. Let us scroll down. We have Sammy Colby's book. Sammy Colby, another great monster design, but the monster turned out to be so bad. All right, we have the traits. The Summer Challenge, this is pretty cool. All you got to do is open up those Galactic Era chests, and you get, um, you're basically going to get all these monsters and then some. All right, let us scroll down. Admiral Copperbeard, Season 1. All right, we have Lamuna, Admiral Copperbeard. Oh, yeah, good design, good design. Cold Blood Icon. We've seen it on Lamuna, and I'm hearing that the Tails monster is also going to have cold blood. Exclusive pass offer. Let's see what the community thought about it. Raven bots definitely next. Shao Lion. There we go. Getting some love there. Um, Simon Colby's. Yeah. So many dislikes. Uh, good descriptions. Descriptions. Lamuna. Yeah, she is probably the better. Oh, that's um, description too. Never mind. Okay. Uh, what is this? Um, okay, this is a new monster, and look at that, 104 likes. Now, this is the Tails Monsters, the tail, upcoming Tail Monster. So, Water Controller with Freeze, Mega Freeze, Freeze Hater, and Damage Reduction. Alright, Thought Charisma deals low water damage to all enemies, applies major damage reduction to all enemies, days to all enemies. Deals low water damage to one enemy, Freeze, Freeze Hater to itself. Okay, removes negative effects from allies. Applies Freeze Hater to Alice, applies Precision, so Cleanse, Freeze Hater, Increase Accuracy. Freeze Hater to an ally, removes negative effects, Cleansing. I wish this was backwards. I wish it was like this. See, Sugar Rush is better because it cleanses first, then applies a Freeze Hater. The problem with the way this is, if you apply Freeze Hater first, if the enemy monster has Nanovirus or Positive Effects blocked, that Freeze Hater is not going to land, so at the end of the day it's just a cleanse. It's a minute detail, but I wish it would have been opposite. Low water damage, freeze, double freeze, so freeze twice. Single freeze, requires cooldown. Freeze, damage reduction to all enemies, days to all enemies. So it is single deny with AoE, damage reduction, and days. Keep in mind, days reduces damage output by 25%, as does damage reduction. So in total, that's like a 37.5 damage reduction. Uh, removes positive effects from one enemy first, good. Low water damage, major damage reduction, 50% to damage reduction. Low water damage, damage reduction, freeze hater, increased accuracy. Mega Freeze, Total Damage Reduction. Ooh. Um, I'm not a big fan. I'll be honest. If this monster has Cold Blood, that's what I heard he was going to have. But I'm not seeing it on a skill unless he has it as a trait, which I don't think that's going to be a thing anytime soon. So he has Deny. So you have lots of single freezing and you can give Freeze Hater. Maybe at rank 3 or rank 5 he starts off with Freeze Hater. And then, no, because the enemy still needs to be frozen. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I'm iffy on the monster. I don't think he's crazy or anything. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, I'm like, I, I need to see the trait. Because right now, I'm like, eh. He can freeze a lot. He can apply, give the team freeze hater, but that's it. Shrimp Waiter Sword. After damaging with the skill of the target's life is above 50. 
Have we seen this already? I don't know if we've seen that already. All right, we have Bioworm Bot. Metal NH support with damage reduction and nanovirus. Ooh, this is not good. 88Xs. All right, deals low metal damage, nanovirus to all enemies. I like nanovirus. Nanovirus to one damage reduction, okay. What's with all the damage reduction? We saw that a lot over here too. Uh, moderate metal, total damage reduction, nanovirus. This is, oh, never mind. I was gonna say like, there's no such thing as total damage reduction, like cooldown after you use it, right? Uh, major damage reduction days, low n low nature damage reduction, negate healing. Negate healing is good, but reverse healing is better. Damage reduction, low metal, negate healing. Yeah, not good. I'm I'm with the camp of this. Yeah, Perobots. Oh, half and half. Players like them. Let's just for fun. Let's make it even. Um, let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna go against the grain and I'm gonna give it an X over here. All right, Perobot. Fire and metal controller with time stop and CDA. He's like Ravenbot then. Except instead, instead no death countdown, just CDA. All right, low metal damage, fire damage burn, time stop to an enemy. It means a death countdown to an ally resource cooldown. Okay, moderate fire, time stop, burn. Time stop to awe, low fire burn, activates cooldown, activate cooldown. Okay, that cooldown on everyone. Oh. <sighs> Again, like, if we didn't have Taunt and Dodgeria, he'd be pretty good, but because he has single CDA, so that can take care of Dodge Area and then AoE CDA, that's cool. He has AoE time stop, he has single time stops, but realistically, not gonna get used. All right, you got Brigadier Holter. Um, we have Lamuna. We have, okay, let's see, what do we know? Parabot, this is the race monster? No way. I feel like we can skip out on this race monster. <laughs> Unless his trade is like, I don't even, Pierce? No, like, yeah, I feel like we can skip out on him. Um, but let's like Parabot, Gleamhild, I don't think we've seen him. Bile Wormbot, that's the Tails monster? No, that's the Quest monster. Tails is the, the George Lotto. George Lotto. Um, Calamit, Calamit Abyss. That sounds like a cool monster. Calamit Abyss. Harbaker, Sam Colby, Lamuna, all right. Abomination, okay. This is kind of bad, considering Serpentex has Abomination Hater, as does Hanser, but more importantly, Enhancer, more importantly, Serpentex has Abomination Hater as a trait. It means to freeze. Oh, wow, you do have Cold Blood as a rank three trait. How, why? Cold Blood just got released and it's already a trait. Okay, so this monster could always bypass Freeze, or sorry, this monster could always bypass Taunt and Mega Taunt. You get a Freeze immunity for your team and a self Pyrophobic Shield that lasts for three turns. So you have a monster that could always bypass Taunt and Mega Taunt. So let's go back to the monster. So assuming you can bypass Taunt and Mega Taunt, you're able to Mega Freeze whoever you want. You're able to freeze whoever you want. Okay, definitely like him a lot more. His usability increases exponentially because, like, I don't even want Lamuna anymore. Like, why even spend money on Lamuna when I can just get this monster and rank him up? I can I can freeze whoever I want. I can mega freeze whoever I want. That's really cool, really useful. More importantly, you, have, you also have that double freeze for when monsters have, like, Bullrike or Taunt. Like, Sour Sorbet is definitely going to be needed. The mega freeze is super useful as well. I don't know how I feel about those freeze haters. Um, if anything, you maybe run the freeze hater to the team and cleansing sugar rusher. That way, if you do have like a serpent text on your team, hey, you've already mega frozen the enemy, and then you freeze hater, and then you OTK. So, interesting. Part of me says like, eh, it's still not gonna be meta, just because again, even though you could freeze the monster, you could also just triple damage, double damage, whatever a serpent text or trap cupid, and, and OTK the whole team. But I can definitely see situations where on offense, this monster's use. Like Lamuna, I can see situations where you possess the enemy, right? In my video, I was able to possess Uriel and then he resurrected my monster. I was able to possess Uriel and then he didn't cleanse and that helps me win. Or I can also Mega Freeze Uriel. I can Mega Freeze the Serpent X. I can do whatever I need to do. So I can see situations where he, where he can be used. Um, but I'm still like, eh, probably not going to be meta. But in a, in a war scenario, he's like, he's going to be a go-to monster if needed. Wow, that's awesome. We have Clogorg. Um, let's see. 
Bio Warm Bots is immune to poison. Bla res Block, that's good. Area Minor Blind. It's just a Res Block, but other than that, mm, the Minor Blind is pretty cool too. Immune to, immune to Poison, Bleh. Immune to Blind, Hardened, 30%. Wait, what? Isn't that called Tough? Wait. No, Hardened is 25. Wait, why is it a Hardened 30%? That's interesting. Area Ignites. More dots at the start of the battle, uh, but not needed. All right, here we have Calamit Abyss. Water attacker with immediate death, death countdown, and drown skills. Why is SP trying to bring death countdown back? All right, deals low water damage to an enemy. 10% chance of instantly defeating one enemy. Every one in 10 times, you're gonna instant kill. I wonder if we can use this monster in the in the bounty hunt to instant kill. Fortune death countdown, what the heck? We've never seen a fortune death countdown. We're used to three churn, why a fortune now? 25% chance of instant kill, 5% of it's a boss, deals moderate water damage. Okay, one in four chance. Roll and slash. Honestly, this could be an annoying monster because you place him on defense and one in four times, <laughs> thanks to just dumb luck, the enemy like kills you, one of your monsters, and hey, you lose a coin. Uh, three turn death countdown and drowned. Moderate water damage drowned. Removes 40% of total life, 25% to instant kill. This is probably your better skill. You're taking a huge chunk of an enemy's life away, but you also have that that 25% chance to kill. So 225% roll and slash lacerate and prey. And then you also have that 10%. Deals heavy water, two turn. Oh, what the heck is this? A two turn death countdown. Do you guys remember when a talent got released? That was a two turn death countdown. That was crazy. Well, now we have it as a skill. Now, honestly, I don't think this, I, I don't know how he has 126. I don't think it's going to be crazy, that crazy monster. Again, in War Scenarios, I can see him being annoying because of that 25% and maybe you lose a coin. Um, And that two turn death counter could also be very annoying because you got to have to have a cleanse. Um, But in PvP specifically, again, you're dealing with taunt and dodge area. You're dealing with Uria who can literally cleanse every other turn. Um, and you're playing, like, if you put this one on their defense, you're fighting a human player who can deal with that. Um, if you if you have someone like Shadow who can trade disable the whole enemy team and turn transfer into you, you apply a 2 turn death countdown. You also have to be able to deny before they cleanse the 2 turn death countdown away. So things to think about. Um, I'm not crazy about the monster. I'd actually be like, eh, I think he, like, he's cool, but I'm like, eh, I'm probably not going to, you get a lot of usage out of him. Um, but let's continue. Plant termination challenge. Harp, Harpiker, Thunder Metal Attacker with Damage Increase, Sea Hater, Electrified, and Bleeding Skills. Alright, apply Sea Hater to itself. Moderate Thunder Damage, Electrified. Moderate Thunder Damage, Damage Boost. Sea Hater, 25% Boost. Heavy Thunder Damage, Double Damage. Great skill here. I love skills that deal a lot of damage and set up for the next attack. Massive Metal, Bleed, Vulnerable. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, maybe... Maybe if this doesn't kill, the bleed with the vulnerable will kill. Electrified thunder weakness to everyone. Moderate metal bleed. Triple damage during one turn, heavy thunder damage. Oh, wow. The ultimate is triple damage, then heavy thunder, then bleed, then shock. Um, whoever you target is going to die, and then the the allies are going to have bleed and shock. Um, he's a strong attacker. He's pretty straightforward. Just a really, really strong attacker. Is this the exclusive golden pass monster? I think so. No, exclusive... Um, Monster, okay. So I think it's very possible that his trait is what's going to make him worth it. Metal attacker, like, maybe he has, I don't know, he's probably not going to have Sea Hater as a trait. Maybe he has Abomination Hater as a trait. And then he he kills Abomination Monsters. I think the trait could potentially make him very usable. Right now, he's just a straightforward attacker. Um, choose your path, Mandarka, it's a Beth. George Lotta, oh, he looks hideous now. I guess when he was a cuter monster. Bio worm ball looks kind of cool. It's um oh that's a uh, that's literally um wormhole in a bio suit. Parabot looks pretty cool. He actually looks really really cool. This is adorable though. Okay guys, so this is it for the sneak peek. Once again, I am on Chinchilla Leaks. Link in the description. If you want to see for yourself. Overall, I don't think any monster truly truly is like mind blowing to me. Um, probably the most interesting is the tails monster. Who has cold blood as a trait? So again, you can bypass taunt and mega taunt, whatever. But other than that, I'm kind of like mm, season season one. It's a it's a slow start, so we'll have to see what else SP releases. 
Um, I think I'm really interested in Harp on Harpiker, his trait specifically. Is he going to have something that makes him worth, right? Like, what if SP Ultimate is like, let's give him Pierce. Okay, then that adds some value to the monster. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about the monsters. Anyone you like, dislike, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much. And remember to subscribe.